Hey guys, welcome again to the tutorials in Backbone.js. This is Victor, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you about Backbone.js collections. So basically what collections are is sets of models. What do I mean by, by that? Let's say that you have a bunch of students. Uh, let's call this the first student Pepe, second student Johnny, and third student Vicky. Now, if, you want to, if we want to manipulate these three students all together or send them to another place all together, we can make them go into a collection. And we will call this collection, oh, we have to keep in mind that this is a student. All three of them are students. So now we will create a collection called class one or class A, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to uh, call this class student collection and so what happens is that these three students go inside of the student collection so that we can manipulate them better later on now let's get started on how to initialize a collection first thing we need to do is create a model for the students so student model is equal to backbone dot extend sorry backbone model dot extend now we open our curly braces and we do our regular stuff. Let's say that the students have a default name of unknown. And each student, actually let, let's leave it like that, leave it like that and that's it. Now for each of the students we need a collection. So now we create a student collection. Student collection to create a collection, all we have to do is backbone dot something dot extend. Now, can you guess what goes in between these two periods? You got it, collection. So we extend a backbone collection. Now, we need to tell this collection what kind of models we will be holding. And to do that, all we do is use a backbone tag that is or attribute, whatever you want to call it, called model. And inside of there, we put what models this collection will be holding. In this case, it will be the student model. So we type in here student model. Oh, sorry, it's not semicolon. I keep getting my languages confused. I'm sorry. Now that we have our collection and our model, let's initialize a model to do that we do a variable let's do like, like we said before Johnny is equal to um, new student model and that's it to make sure that, that we are getting actually no let's let's just keep it like this let's create two students Johnny and Vicky now these two students are going to be in class 1, which is our student collection. So var class 1 is equal to new student collection. And then here with these brackets, not the curly ones, we are going to put what student models we want to add to our collection. In this case, we would add Johnny and Vicky. Now, to end this tutorial, I would just like to confirm that this actually works. To confirm that it works, we're going to log how many students there are in our class 1 or student collection. So we're going to do a console.log for class, actually let's do something. Let's type class 1 size and then let's type the size. So it's going to be class 1.length. Alternatively, or however you say it, you can do class one dot size and parenthesis because it's a function. We save it and now let's go to our browser and see what happens. Class one size is two. There we go. And it's two because we have added two students. Cool. So this concludes this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next one.